wake up in the morning and thank God because I know that He blessed me. Because you know I'm spinning round that base, round that base, there for trouble. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, make it double. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, round that base. I'm spinning round that base, round that base. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I ain't got no Pikachu. Still try to catch him, catch him, like we're supposed to do. Cause we got that boom boom electro powered bass. All the right grunts in all the right places. Intruders coming down, gang up and make them stop. Under mahogany, just a souvenir shop. If you find a trainer lurking, just self destruct because we're working for T Rocket and we're never gonna stop. Giovanni, he told me I better bring something nice. Cause if I don't, I'll be swimming with magic up every night. I wanna get that promotion and pass up our Said if I plan to show up empty handed to move. Cause you know I'm spinning round that base, round that base, there for trouble. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, make it double. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, round that base. I'm spinning round that base, round that base. Hey, I'm bringing Mewtwo back. Tell Giovanni that Cerulean's where it's at. Except it's got the lowest rate to catch. But I give it up because we're working for Team Rocket and we're never gonna stop. Me, he told me I better bring something nice Cause if I don't I'll be swimming with magic up every night I wanna get that promotion and pass up our Said if I plan to show up empty handed to move Cause you know I'm spinning round that base, round that base, pay for trouble. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, make it double. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, round that base. I'm spinning round that base, round that base. Because you know I'm spinning round that base, round that base, pay for trouble. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, make it double. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, round that base. I'm spinning round that base, round that base. Cause you know I'm spinning round that base, round that base, pay for trouble. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, make it double. I'm spinning round that base, round that base, round that base. I'm spinning round that base, round that base. Good you too, that one ain't to you back again once again. Tapio today we're back for episode number 17, if I'm not mistaken, our Pokemon Sweet Nuzlocke. In the last episode, aka yesterday's episode, if I'm not mistaken, we escaped from the pirate fort or the pirate hold or whatever the hell it's called, which is just Sweet Land's version of the Cinnabar Mansion. And we went and took on the Cinnabun Gym, which was overtaken by pirates. The captain had a hundred wins and zero losses, but we whooped his ass! And he ended up giving us our seventh Sweet Land gym badge. So here we are in what's the name of this fucking city? Flower Town, and today, hopefully, we're gonna take on Sweetland's eighth gym for our eighth Sweetland Pokemon League gym badge. So, if you guys are hyped for today's episode of Pokemon Sweet, make sure you smash out that like button down below for us because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. Of course, if you are a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash out the like button down below for us. You guys, we are getting so close to the end of this game, it is insane how close we're getting to the end of it. It just seems like yesterday we just started up, and now here we are. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. Anyway, speaking of the end of the game, I want to remind you guys that we are still accepting fan art for the final episode, you could say. Um, I, ju I actually just favored some fan art before I started recording this. Um, so if you guys want to send in any sort of fan art for the series, whether it's your favorite Poke Sweet, whatever, tweet it to me, spam it, spam the fuck out of me on Twitter until I either favorite it or reply. Um, because if I favorite it, then I, have, I can get back to it and I can put them all together in the final video. So whatever you guys want to draw uh, when it comes to Pokemon Sweet, tweet it at me and it'll be included. But... We did have a grinding montage, as you guys saw, and uh, two episodes ago, we were in Grapevine City, and we went to the um, Fighting Dojo, and they gave us the other two starter Pokemon, and I asked you guys, I said, hey, 
choose one of the two that we that, that you think we should add to the team and who you think it should be replaced for. And that was supposed to happen in the, uh, that was supposed to happen in the last episode, but we are trapped on the pirate fort or the pirate hold. What exactly is that thing called? What exactly is that goddamn thing called? We were trapped on the pirate fort and we couldn't get to a PC. So I told you guys that in today's episode we find out who you guys voted for. And it was a absolute landslide for who won. I thought he was going to be the first in the party, but he's not. <laughs> first up, before our party recap, uh, basically I got the entire team up to level 50, which isn't too high. It wasn't too, too far away from where we were last time. Uh, but we have Tootsie, our banana chocolate flavored banana buzz with Fudge Slap, Slice, Stick, and Fly. Then we have Big Fudge, our Chocosaur. It's Chocosaur, right? Fudgesaur, my bad. Cherry chocolate flavored Fudgesaur with Mud Pie, Hunger Dust, that grew up in Cherry Seed. Then we have our level 51 blue flavored uh, Marie, the Gold Pie, with Air Lace, Water Gun Surf, and Pie Bean. Then we have our level 51 vanilla flavored Twinkie with Hyper Voice, Rollout, Sing, and Body Slam. Then we have our level 52 great flavored Ring Pot with Brick Break, Brain Freeze, Strength, and Headbutt. And there was a couple of you guys that got all antsy in the comments section of the last episode, so why would you teach Ring Pop special moves being Brain Freeze? Yeah, yeah. Does it fucking matter? Does it, does it honestly matter? Grape typing or grape flavoring in this game is special. Period. So it doesn't matter what grape move it has, it's fucking special. So what difference does it make? None! <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. Like, sure, you could say, oh, I could have given Brain Freeze to somebody else, but it really doesn't matter. It really does. It's not that big of a deal at all. It's not that big of a deal at all. Anyways, Brick Break, Brain Freeze, Strength, and Headbutt, and then the newest member on our team. You guys voted for him. You said, let's swap Lemonhead out for Pie Stories. So I got Pie Stories leveled up from a level 5 square pie all the way up to level 50 Pie Stories. Uh, there, it's Rock and Bite, Apple Toss, Protect, and Surf right now. Uh, I haven't come up with a nickname for it because it's supposed to be a pie. Um, so I don't really don't know what to nickname it. I don't know just as of yet. Uh, but we'll figure it out. Um, but what I wanted to show you guys uh, was in our PC. We have a few new additions. Uh, I meant to speak about this in the last episode because you see, we we caught Slice, which again, so a lot of you guys wanted us to add Slice to the party too, and I'm like, calm down now, hold on. We have Slice, we have King Cone, then we got Peeps and Twizzlers, and then Lemonhead got boxed. Even though it's at level 50, I went ahead and boxed it and trained up our Square Pie to to a Pie Stories level 50. And then, uh, if you go and look at the grinding montage, while I was in Seafoam Islands, or the Freezer Islands, or whatever it is in Sweet Lamb, I thought, okay, if Moltres is here, where's Articuno? So I went to the spot where Articuno was at, and lo and behold, look what I find. There was another one of those little crystal shards, just like there was for Slice, and turns out it's uh, Icebox. The name of it is Icebox, and it's basically on a fridge. It's blue flavored, level 50, Miss Agility, Mind Reader, and Ice Cream. So basically, that was um, Moltres as Slice. Then we I named it Voltage because number one, it's a Rotom and it's like electric. And number two, uh, Mountain Dew Voltage. It's blue. It's blue. It's blueberry. So I figured that fit as well. That's special defense though. Oh my lord. So yes, yeah, so we have Voltage as well. Uh, that's supposed to be this game's version of Articuno. And then I kept going around in there, and I was thinking, well, we didn't go to the power plant, and I was like, okay, let's see if the other two birds are here, then the third one must be here as well. And lo and behold, I find a little black triangle there, and I go up to it, and we find Mana Lime. <laughs> Level 50 Mana Lime, which does have Zapdos' Cry. It does have Zapdos' Cry, so this is Sweet Land's version of Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno being Voltage. Uh, Mamba, I named it Mamba because I couldn't think of anything with a Lime nickname, like I think they have Lime Heads out there, like Lemonhead has a, like a uh, spin-off version of Lime Head, but I didn't want it to be Lime Head, and I was like, I couldn't think of anything that had Lime Candy in it, so I just called it Mamba. You guys ever had Mambas? I feel like it fit the, the Mana Lime itself, maybe not its flavor, but just the Mana Lime itself. So we got um, Slice, Voltage, and Mamba now. Mamba was of course level 50 with Orange Wave, Agility, Detect, and Drill Peck. And then I thought to myself, I was like... Well, if Zapdos is here, what's at the power plant? So then I went to the power plant, and it's Ginger Woods or something like that. Like, we're going to go visit it here in a, in a second before we take on the gym. Ginger Woods, and, or Ginger Wood, I should say. And I kept getting duplicate encounters and dupes clauses and species clauses and everything until finally I encountered this Slug Nana. And, uh, 
I named it Peels because I couldn't think of anything else. It's level 22 with Orange Shock, Supersonic, Sonic Boom, and Orange Wave. So, like I said, a lot happened in the grinding montage. This actually needs to be renamed uh, Pantry 2. This is the second pantry that we have stuff in. Yeah, the pantry. Wait, I spelled that wrong. Pant. Wait. Pantry. Space. Give me the num Give me the numbers! Pantry 2. It's the second cabinet. So we got Pantry and Pantry 2 now. And like I said, I wanted to go ahead and visit there because as I was speaking to a couple of the people there, some of them were saying some pretty weird and crazy shit. Can we, we can't just fly straight to Gingerwood. God damn it. Oh, but it's, it's right here as it is, so... I like how they let us fly right to there. So let us, let us just skedaddle on down here. Into Gingerwood. As you see, this is where the power plant normally would be. And it's Gingerwood. Oh, welcome to the Gingerwood. I suppose it's obvious how it got that name, no? And you go and talk to these people. The largest house is to the north all by itself. It's kind of a lonely sight. What the fuck does that mean? Oh, you've met the Chocobun. This is the secret, but she was actually born here. Excuse you. Nobody goes near the big house and attacks anyone who does. We eventually stop trying to knock it out. The fuck? Chocobun was born in the big house as a pet for its owner. After the owner died, Chocobun started making pokey sweets. Although that house has gone without an owner for a while now, it must be lonely. They keep mentioning this big ass house. Hey, if you have diabetes, you can't eat sugar, right? What else is it even to do in a place like this? Kids love a place like this, no hard to see why. Like, they just keep talking, and then sure enough, there's a house up here. There's nothing else here. There's nothing else here. I wish I could have fucking got a choco tank instead of that goddamn slug nana. Yeah, there's nothing else here but that. So, I figured, hey, if this is like a different area, we already caught those other legends off screen during the grinding montage. Well, it's not really off screen, it's during the grinding montage. I don't know what this is, it seems important, so let's go up in this bitch and see what we got to do. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game as well. And look at our cookbook! We need one more so we can get the experience share! Oh, that's so aggravating. And what the hell? The sign is blank. Reed Ginger suddenly attacks. We're fighting a house? Reed Ginger! <laughs> We're fighting a house! You got me all types of joked out right now, fam. I don't know what this I'm guessing it's gonna be a chocolate type. It looks chocolate to me. Fudge slap is super effective. We can fudge slap it. It's got outrage. I kinda wanna hit it again, but I kinda don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe. 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 Let's go out to Twinkie. Let's go out to Twinkie and put this thing to sleep. Outrage! Excuse you! Twinkie! Oh, it's got safeguard! Okay, there we go. The safeguard went down. That's why we couldn't put it to sleep at first. Okay, so it's outraging right now. Um, but I want to try and ultra ball this thing. I don't know what Reginger's supposed to be. We caught it with one ultra ball. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Reginger was caught. All right, so let's see what they skinned over for Reginger. A massive living gingerbread house, despite its frightening exterior, is known to be very hospitable and kind. It just attacked me. Give a nickname to the captured Reed Ginger. I don't know what to call this thing. D they don't have a gingerbread man, Pokey Sweet. They just have a gingerbread house. I don't know what to call this thing. Uh, I'm gonna call it. Don't ask me why. <laughs> don't ask me why. It's just the first thing that came to mind. I think of this big building with a scary exterior, but it's actually kind of cool. I'm just gonna call it Hogwarts. I know it's not food related or anything like that, but the door opens slightly. Reginger seems happier. What's up inside Reginger? What even is this? Can we go to sleep here? There's nothing here. Okay, I guess this is just here for the books. Oh, it's Nappy's house. Hey, how often do you ever have a house in a, in a Pokemon game? You have your own house. I want to go see what. Oh, we can't fly. We can't fly in the Ginger Woods. Excuse the fuck out of me. I want to go see what is up with Re Ginger. So let's fly back to Flower Town real quick. Like, head up in here and heal Twinkie up. And let's see what's up with Re Ginger. Look at this thing. <laughs> Re Ginger. Calm nature, so it's gonna eat up all them hits. It's chocolate, pressure, slam, agility, safeguard, and outrage. Wow. Agility, so the house can move faster. <laughs> okay, now, 
What I'm gonna do it. What I'm gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna move these around. Actually, no. I'm gonna place this. I'm gonna move these around because I don't know about you guys, but this appears to be like legends that we've caught so far, right? So what I'm gonna do is just to please my OCD, we're gonna move them all over here to this one box like this. And like I said, I'm OCD, so I gotta move. I gotta move everything. Hey, 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 hey! Don't be an ass. Don't be an ass. Just swap. That's all I need you to do. Just swap. So, um, since a lot of you guys were saying in the last episode that you wanted us to use Slice, but now we also have Voltage, Mamba, and Hogwarts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offer you guys the same thing that we had before when it comes to Piesoids. I'll say this. Choose any one member of our team and any one member of these legends that we caught so far and swap them and leave your vote in the comment section below. If you don't want anybody swapped, if you don't want us to use the legends or anything like that, then by all means, just say don't use them. But if you want us to use one of these, let us know in the comments below. And whichever one has the most votes, uh, I'll go ahead and swap out. And we'll train it up. How's that? Does this sound like a plan? <laughs> I'll go ahead and train it up. But for now, what we need to do is we need to go get that badge. And actually, I think I'm going to switch and let Pystoy sit up front because we actually have not seen him in action yet since he's the newest member of our team. And I'm hyped to use him, actually. Can we get some berries? We got two orange berries. We never went back and got that cup fee or anything like that, did we? That's a mark. Wait, actually, do we need anything from the mark? Oh, we don't need anything from this mark, I should say. Uh, let's check our bag. Do we have... We have 21 hyper potions. I feel like that should be good. We have a bear call we could attach to somebody. I wonder how fast everybody is. Who's the slowest one on our team? A lot of you guys also pointed out... Well, I pointed out when we first got him. I think this swayed a lot of you guys to go ahead and scoop him up. Is Pysoy is impish with shell armor. So he's a god. 96, 105, 96, 81, 91, 120. Twinkie is the slowest one in the party, so I'm going to go ahead and give Twinkie the bear claw to hold. Now, I leveled our team up to level 50, roughly. And I know Marie, Twinkie, and Ring Pop are one or two levels higher, but that was only because Pi Stories needed some training, and like half the battles in the game are double battles as well. Until it got to the point where Pi Stories could hold his own. As a matter of fact, I actually went back into Blueberry's gym. Remember back in Berry City? And I actually fought the gym like four times over with just Pi Stories to get some training. And I had the little unknown symbol next to me. But now we just walked. Oh, we can walk out of this gym. Why do they do that? Why is it some gyms they let you walk out of and others you don't? Yo, champ in the making. Even I don't know the leader's identity, but I know he uses vanilla type Poke Sweets. That's scary. Well, it's kind of scary at first. It's kind of scary at first. It's scary in the sense that vanilla type Poke Sweets, nothing is super effective against him. Which, perfect time to mention it, like we do in every single episode. Our flavor type effectiveness chart, our flavor effectiveness chart, is included in the description. So if you guys want to keep up track uh, of what's going on at the same time we are, check it out in the description below. At the same time, the Pokemon Sweet Fake Dex is down there, so don't click on that if you don't need spoilers, you don't need to see any final evos of the Poke Sweets are. But it's kind of scary that um, he's a vanilla type, Trent. Really, you're vanilla type, and you have this. Uh, Apple is not super effective. Apple is super effective on um, whatchamacallit. I'm just gonna Mud Pie. I don't give a damn. I don't think I have anything that's super effective on the Burtzel. I mean, uh, not the Burtzel, on the Trapo Nana. Can you not paralyze all of my pokies? It's so aggravating. That's all this entire game does. That is the only thing this whole goddamn game does. Paralyze, paralyze, paralyze. Stop. You ain't doing anything. Oh my goodness. Anyways, um, what was I saying? Oh, it's scary because nothing is super effective on vanilla. But at the same time, vanilla is not super effective on anything else. So it's kind of like it just weighs it out. So like I was, I was kind of hesitant at first, and then I was like, oh wait, never mind. And now that thing's dead. Get up out, yo. Why is it like... That's so aggravating. How do you get three status effects in one... Three status effects in one goddamn battle. He's got a Barrow Chef. And I figured out by doing it 1v1, um, what the little unknown symbol is. You know, that little question mark. Um, that's what pops up when a double battle is like programmed to the game, but you only have one Pokemon on your team. So that one dude in the gym in the last episode that had that, I don't know what the hell that was about. I don't know why they programmed a double battle into the game, but only gave him one Pokemon, so whatever. 
Whatever, mate. Whatever. 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 I keep healing because, like, I'm super nervous. And, like, some of you guys are like, oh, that just lowers the entertainment value of a Nuzlocke now because you're not losing any Pokemon. Like, isn't that what we're supposed to do? The challenge is to not lose your Pokemon? And I know the last time we fought one of these things, he, it exploded all over us. So I don't like that. Magnitude? I mean, if, you want, if you're trying to mess up your own teammate, by all means, be a guest. Be a guest. Put our service to the test. Tie that napkin round your neck. Get up out, yo. I should have cherry whipped. Oh, homeboy. Excuse you. Calm down. Calm down. We're mud pine lollywhack. Are you kidding me? He's not dead. And more status ailments, because why not? Why not? Why would I not get paralysis? Why would I not get burned? Why would I not get put to sleep? <sighs> That's so aggravating. There's so much of that in this game. So much of that in this game. Get healed up. Just waste them hyper potions. Why not? Why not? Keep my Pokemon health care A1. Pumpkin Net. Oh. And Velvet. I want both of them on my team. Why couldn't I have gotten first encounters with them? I don't even think I've seen a wild Ralts in this game. It's Apple Super Effective, Apple Super Effective on... Shh. Apple Super Effective on Cherry. Is Velvoir Cherry? I think it is. I'm not sure. We'll see. That's Super Effective on that. Get up out. I guess it is Cherry. God damn. God damn. I'm gonna bite you and do that as well. Pystoids is putting up with the finest of work. I'll take it. This isn't even the right way. We're supposed to go the other way, aren't we? Aren't we supposed to go the other way? I think we are. Either way, catch that surf. Anybody else want to catch the surf? Anybody else want to catch this surf? Why can't the lollywag just die? Like, explain. Explain to me why the lollywag cannot just die. Are you kidding me? I was about to kill you and you go for that. I don't appreciate that. Really? And I bo both of us attacked the Ministar. Get up out, Joe. You're a pain in the ass. I swear to God, you're a pain in the ass. Get up out, Joe. Get up out. Uh, 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 stop with the crits. Stop with the crits. Everybody, everybody stop with the crits. And we might need to actually go out and heal. Let's let's rock out with blue types on the field. Let's just surf everything. And then they're, 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 there's only one blue flavor on the field. They're both not blue. It's it'd be so nice if Pyrosaurus was blue. That'd be so convenient. So so oh so convenient. Can we actually walk past him? Well fuck it. Well he's the last trainer in the gym. If he's the last one, let's just battle him. He's only got one. Let's just battle him. Let's just do it. Apple toss, catch an apple toss, nigga. Catch an apple toss. Okay, so that's all the trainers in the gym, if I'm not mistaken. Are you kidding me? You can just walk straight up here? Isn't that blocked off in the regular games? I think it is. I think it is. Huh. Either way. Alright, so you guys already know what I'm about to say. Wait, isn't this the Team Sour dude? Yo, cookbooks at 50, yo! Cookbooks at 50, we get an experience shot after this battle. I swear for God, grind is about to be so much easier. So much easier. But yeah, isn't this the leader of Team Sour? Did they really just uh, make it the exact same way as Giovanni? Oh well. So, you have found my hiding place. Yes, I'm the leader of Team Sour. I, leader of Team Sour, hold the final badge. What do you mean, to the surprise of absolutely nobody? Well, I was, I was surprised. Fuck y'all, goddamn. No matter, time now for my last stand. This world, it is far too sweet, cheerful, and happy. But it was... I wasn't so privileged as you who would live your life here. I grew up on a spoiled hamburger. I grew up on spoilt, spoilt. Really, Pokemon sweet hackers, spoilt, spoilt hamburgers and rotten tacos. Now you'll just get. Now you'll get your just desserts. Ah! <laughs> the puns. A pun. <laughs> Sour Admin Jerk would like to battle. Alright, Ferment and Cream Tough. Okay, so let's see what we got. So he's got level 50s too, so we're not over leveled by any means. We're not drastically over leveled. Um, I'm gonna go for an Apple Toss. Honestly, they're both kind of sort of scary. They're both really scary, as a matter of fact. Um, depending on how much damage we do, I might just go. I did that did a decent chunk. I was gonna say we might just try and go for Why? Why do you have to miss? Body slam? I was gonna say, we might just go for some, uh... Again! Everything in this game is status ailments! Why? No, you're not gonna get to move, Pies Toys. I'm sorry, bruh. You just missed your, your, your turn. 
Uh, I was gonna say I might go for Hunger Dust and Cherry Seeds just for GP. I might try that out. I might try that out. I tried that er like early in the beginning of the game. If you guys remember, I used to do that a lot, and then I guess it really didn't work out for us all too much. So I kind of sort of abandoned that. But I might try it. I might try it just to see what happens. And this ferment is setting up. Stop it! Cream tough with double edge. I know I turned it down for mine. Ooh, that's just gonna that's just gonna bait a heal. That's all it's gonna do. Can we please apple toss and on the off chance that they heal. The off chance that he heals, I'm gonna go for a hunger dust. He didn't heal! He didn't heal! Okay, keep great punching all you want. Hunger dust that cream tough. Hunger dust that cream tough. I said hunger dust that cream tough, cream tough. Hunger dust that cream tough. Hunger dust that cream tough, cream tough. Hunger dust that cream tough. Hey, hunger dust that cream tough. Can you stop double edging? It's not that cool. Stop it. Now I'm on yourself and kill yourself. Damn, he took a big old bite out of itself. <laughs> took a huge bite. I didn't expect that to kill. I should have just mud pied it. A cup cat. Okay, so that's the cup cat that gave us issues originally, wasn't it? Uh, I'm gonna hyper potion up. No, 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 no. I'm going to apple toss on the ferment because we did over half the first time, and then I'm gonna hyper potion up big fudge. Cause we we can't come all this way with big fudge just to lose him. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, man. Come on. All right, let's see here. Pie stories. Catch that work. Catch that work. Ferment. There we go. Ferment. That's such a weird. Like you sound, it sounds like you're saying ferment. And who you got next? Who you got next? Two down. He's got a swell peep. So swell peep is vanilla. It's not blue. I'll see you, big dog. And big fudge is clear body. You know, I thought that was the weirdest thing in the world when we first saw that. But it is honestly helped us out a lot. Whoa! 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 Stop! Cupcat. It's not that serious. It's really not that serious. All right, Big Fudge, Big Fudge, Big Fudge, Big Fudge. Who are we gonna bring out? Who are we gonna bring out? Let's bring out Ring Pop. Let's bring out Ring Pop. Let's bring out Ring Pop. I'm feeling Ring Pop right now. Ring Pop's got decent defense. Swell Peep gets extreme speed? Turn down, please. Pistoys, Pistoys, surf all on your faces. Watch that not do goddamn thing. Why is surf? Surf's one of my favorite moves. And they just turn it into booty in this game. Why? Alright, hit him with that headbutt. Pistoys. Pistoys. Ooh, look at Pistoys being speedy. Flurry burst. Oh, come on. Hit twice. Hit twice. That's it. That's it. Stop it. Stop it. Like, ask and you shall receive. Goodbye, Cupcat. Goodbye. I was gonna say, that was a crit, too. Jesus, my lord. Ring pop. Calm down. You playing the drums on that nigga's head with your ring pops. <laughs> your lollipops. Just doom, 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 doom. Get about. Get about. Get about. Alright, so who's next? Who's next? Who's next? He's got two more. Egg love. Oh. Did you really just roar my ring pop out? What is wrong with you? Uh, okay, so Pie Stories really can't do shit. I'm gonna apple toss the egg love. And I guess I'm gonna pie beam the swell peep. Fuck it. I mean, there's really not much I can do. It's to the point where I'm just gotta just chip away at Poke Sweets now. Chip away, chip away, chip away. Cake bomb. What? Oh, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I was like, it's a good thing you wore us out. I thought Cake Bomb was gonna be like explosion or something like that. Cause I saw it said damp hit it. Oh, is Cake Bomb like Egg Bomb? I guess that's what it is. And she just used it on Marie instead of like self destruct or whatever. Okay, not bad. It scared me for a second there. It scared me for a second there, big dog. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. And now Marie, look at our two newest members of our team. Marie joined us a couple episodes back, and Pie Stories is joining us this episode. Look at him on the field, putting nothing but the fine. Are you kidding me? Why can't you just die? Huh? <sighs> Pudge. Oh, come on. Marie. Marie. Let's try Tootsie. Marie, what are you doing? Uh, I want this. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Swapped out the wrong Pokemon. I swapped out the wrong Pokemon. We're almost out of Apple Tosses. Uh, let's swap out Marie for Tootsie. Tootsie, 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 Tootsie. All right, you extreme speed. Oh, I was going to say, you was trying. I know you was trying to knock out Marie. Oh, no, no, no. Not in my house. Mm -mm. Get that swell people up out. So he's got just Egg Love. And I'm not mistaken, he has one Pokemon left right now. So who's the last Pokemon, man? Who is the last? Did I say Pokemon? Who's the last Poke Sweet? We got Barrow Chef. Barrow Chef. Barrow Chef, indeed. Tootsie's accuracy dropped. Uh, 
Can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we, can we? I want, I really just want to surf, but Apple Toss is what's going to have to happen. And uh, I don't know, I'm just going to double team until we kill it. Double team until it's dead. Double team until it's dead! Barrel Chef. I don't, I don't know how I feel about the last gym leader being uh, vanilla type, or vanilla flavored, I should say. I don't know how I feel about that. I feel like that would be better for like earlier on and make make them like chocolate or something. Maybe maybe one of the elite four members would be chocolate. I don't know, but that just seems I don't know. It just seems kind of like a letdown. Like you get all the way up to this point and then it's just we got a crit. <laughs> we got a crit with slice. It just seems what? Starve armor? <laughs> it just seems like kind of a letdown that you get to this point in the game and it's like this is the final one and it's like oh it's it's the bad guy the whole time and then we just end up with a team of vanilla pokey sweets so it's like okay okay all right ring pop come on back out since they're just trying to make all of our pokey sweets hungry stop this nonsense stop this nonsense because a headbutt should end it right now tbh i'm sorry to say i'm sorry to say Get about, 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 get about. All right, so down goes the egg love. Can I please have my bash? Can I please have my bash now? Me bash. Me. So, I have lost. Clearly, you fight to defend a land you love so much. Take the badge. I will leave quietly. Nobody said you had to go nowhere. You've won the chocolate badge. Don't mind if I do. Wait. It's a team of vanilla Poke Sweets, and they give us the chocolate badge? I am finished. Soon I will leave this land and never return. I commend you. Good luck. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Who's hungry? Marie? Get that off. Get that off, too. I'm about to say, oh, we didn't come all this way just to have our whole team die to hunger. <laughs> Not having it at all. But I think for right now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode. That was a little anti-climatic. Or climactic, or whatever you want to call it, to be honest. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that final gym leader. But either way, let, uh, yeah, like I said, let us know what you think about that final gym leader. And, of course, if you enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Sweet, make sure you smash that like button down below for us. As far as I know, there's nothing else for us to do except head towards Victory Road and take on the Elite Four. So I have, that's, that's all I can think of that's left to do in the game. So let us know who you think we should swap off of our team uh, for one of the legends. If you think we should add legend at all. And of course, like I said, if you enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon Sweet, and if you're a proud member of the Nappy Nation, make sure you smash that like button down below for us. But with that, we're almost nearing the end. Thank you guys so much for your support, and thank you for checking out the video. Get on me, YouTube, Nappy 182. I'm out.